hey love bugs and welcome back to my channel so today i am here to talk to you guys all about clarifying shampoos um you know summer she, she's right here she's she's touching us if if you live in certain areas it probably has felt like summer for a while i know it has felt like summer for a while here you guys know I am big on cleansing in general, but I definitely really focus on my clarifying shampoos throughout the spring and summer months. My hair has a tendency to get kind of gunky, kind of gross, kind of nasty. Um, I like to be outside. I'm an outdoors kind of girl, okay? I like being outside. So your girl always has a good lineup of clarifying shampoos. I also keep a lot of clarifiers around for my brother. He is a mechanic, so he comes home literally covered in oil. So he uses a lot of my clarifying shampoos too. And these are like the best of, like some of the best of the best of my collection. Um, these are the ones that he often steals from me, <laughs> um, but I love them for my own hair. They get the job done. So if you're interested in seeing my top 10 picks for clarifying shampoos, then just keep on watching. Let's start off with this one. This is a really nice clarifying shampoo that I find to be really gentle and nourishing to my hair. This is the TGIN Rosewater Sulfate Free Hydrating Shampoo with rose water and acai. This says that it's a moisturizing shampoo, but it's definitely more of a clarifier. Um, this does have some like essential oils and things in it, but this is mostly cleanser extract focused okay um tgin makes really really good cleansing products and people don't really hype up their cleansers a lot um people really talk about obviously honey miracle hair mask and the other deep conditioners in the collection but the shampoos from tgin are top notch i also really really like the one from the miracle repair collection but this one is really beautiful. It's a lightweight gel texture. It foams up like a dream and it just makes your hair, hair feel really soft, but super duper clean when you rinse it out. Um, this isn't going to make your hair feel like it's hard or like it's going to like fall out. It's not going to overly tangle your hair. And also the amount of tangles you incur also depends on how you wash your hair. If you're just balling it up into a knot, shampooing your hair, you're gonna have tangles, you know? So intention also is you know important but this is one of my favorite shampoos it lasts forever you don't need a lot of it to cleanse your hair which i find that to be true for all of my clarifying shampoos they don't require a lot of product um to get the job done so typically with all of my clarifying shampoos i will use a clarifying shampoo and then go on with a moisturizing shampoo after um this is really like lightweight and nourishing to the hair so i don't need to use anything super moisturizing after doing this this is really beautiful a stunning cleanser um the shampoos and the co-wash from tgin are amazing so um picking up any of them like they're bomb um and the co-wash is amazing too but i had to shout this one out i feel like i don't talk about it enough um, but she's here and I'm loving her. Gotta talk about Curl Smith. I love this so much. This is the Wash and Scrub Detox Probiotic Shampoo. It's a clarifying scrub shampoo for all hair types. Um, and this highlights several different ingredients. This has probiotic cultures. There's apple cider vinegar in here. Um, there's ginger root, dragon fruit. Um, there's also like a, it, they say it's an eco-friendly scrub, but I think it's like a loofah consistently, um, like loofah bits, natural loofah, not like the plastic ones you get at store. Um, there's nettle and guarana extract in here as well. I love this. This is one of the only um, products from the, the um, scalp recipes line that I have a significant amount of. I'm almost out of all of my scalp recipes products. This is awesome. It has that really nice um, scalp recipe scent. If you've used this collection, you know it. Yeah. This has a perfect amount of scrub. It doesn't feel like you're going ham at your scalp. You can feel the little bit of like scrub in there, but it's not too much. It easily rinses out of the hair. Um, this is another one 
that you don't need a lot of it. It lathers very easily and it gets the job done. It makes your hair feel really, really clean, but still really nourished, fresh. Just, it, it's a very refreshing shampoo as well, even though it's not like a minty kind of situation. Um, it still makes your hair feel really nice and refreshed. Definitely one of my go-tos, especially for this time of the year with how my scalp can get really, really itchy and kind of nasty. I love this. This is bomb. Um, highly suggest, like, I think I've said this before, I highly suggest the Scalp Recipes collection in general. Um, it's my favorite collection so far. I do want to try the one in the purple packaging. Um, but I actually prefer the Scalp Recipes line over like the original collection. Like the Scalp Recipes is my favorite. Um, this is bomb. Highly suggest if you're looking for something that has like that little bit of scrubbing action as well. It's really nice. Next up, it's been a minute since I talked about this. I almost forgot about it. I'm almost out of this actually. Yeah, I have maybe like a quarter of this bottle left. This is the Main Choice Cheers Supreme Strength and Full Protection Shampoo. Y'all can see she has been getting used, but she is almost out. I love the shampoo so much. Really beautiful gel consistency. And this, it just, it has a lot of different proteins in here. There is rice, there's hops, barley protein in here. So things that you typically find in like beer. But this also has, of course, like the typical vitamins and minerals that you find in um, Main Choice products. This is very cleansing, but it still like makes the hair feel nice and soft. There's something about that um, collection of, I'm assuming that it's the proteins in here, but I experienced this with the, um, the conditioner too, because you guys know the conditioner is one of like my favorite rinse out conditioners of all time. There's something almost like softening and kind of silkening about whatever is going on in this and I really like that about this so even though it's incredibly cleansing it gets everything off the first time um it still leaves your hair feeling really soft and silky and nourished I love this so much this is one of the few clarifying shampoos that I actually don't always go in with a moisturizing shampoo after because it just feels so good um this is a stunning formulation I also just I, I always just thought it was just so cute that like the shampoo bottle was small, but she made like the conditioner bottle huge, which I think is genius. It's always the other way around. It's, it's a six fluid ounce bottle, but you don't need a lot of this at all. I don't know how many washes I've gotten out of this. Like I couldn't even count how many washes I've gotten out of this and I still have a little bit left. So definitely one of my favorites. It's not one that I talk about often, but I use it often, it's bomb. Um, also the peach black tea one as well is a really amazing shampoo. Now this baby, she had she had to go in here, she had to. This is one of my favorite shampoos of all time. The entire system from this collection is just bomb. Like everything from the shampoo, to the deep conditioner, to the leave-in, to the gel is bomb. And that is the She Scented Plum Nectar and Agave Curl Perfection Shampoo. This is a rich, nourishing, sulfate-free cleanser and I love it. Two pieces. And I've had this for a minute and I still haven't gotten halfway through it. I use it often, like often, often. <laughs> um, and I still can't get all the way through it. This is another one that I don't always feel the need to follow up with the moisturizing shampoo because it is so nourishing to the hair, but this is loaded with extracts. Um, there's um, cockadoo plum. This uses cocoa betaine. This also does have some protein in here as well. Very simple, like short ingredients list, but this is one of the best shampoos that I own. Um, one, it smells amazing. That plum nectar and agave scent is amazing. The gel texture is perfect. You don't need a lot to get the job done, which I mean, obviously like, doesn't take much at all but this gets your hair clean clean like clean clean but it doesn't feel like hay it doesn't feel like your hair is about to fall off your head like none of these are going to give you Trader Joe's tea tree tingle like we I, we have all used Trader Joe's tea tree tingle 
that stuff is clarifying to the point where you feel like you have stripped away the melanin from your skin. Like, <laughs> it is the most clarifying thing I own. I still have a bottle, but I only use it in like emergencies. Like I have something like crazy oily in my hair, like something that's probably not hair product related in my hair, um, which used to happen a lot when I worked um, in field research, I would get some strange stuff in my hair. Um, working outside, working on farms, Having something like that is useful, but <laughs> none of these are going to do that to your hair. This is amazing. It's just, it's, it's perfection. It's called the Curl Perfection Shampoo and it is truly perfection. And the way my hair feels when I shampoo with this and then I go in with the deep conditioner, good God. <laughs> so good, just absolute utter perfection. Like the way my deep conditioner sinks in after I use this, it makes me want to wash my hair right now. This one is more so focused like for the scalp, but I still run this through the rest of my hair when I use it. I think I've mentioned this before, even though I haven't done a video on it. I don't know why I never did a video on these products, but I still have them. I think I had eventually not done a video because not too long after I bought them, they had changed packaging. They had gotten rid of, of some products. Um, there are a couple of products that I think are still in the line and are the same, so I'll probably do videos with them. But this is the Amica Reset Pink Charcoal Scalp Cleansing Oil. And this is bomb. So this is like a pre-wash treatment um, to clarify your scalp. So you put this onto your dry scalp. Um, it has a really nice precision tip applicator that you apply straight on and you work that into your scalp. And it feels amazing. Um, it does foam up on like your dry scalp. It foams up really nicely. So I will like apply this in sections, work it in and then run it through like the, be the beginnings of like my roots and stuff. And then when I get in the shower, I drag the rest through. This is so nice and it makes your scalp feel phenomenal. I don't know if it's the properties of the charcoal in this, but they definitely like, they got it right with this. They really did get it right. This has a lot of really good surfactants in it. Um, it does have a little bit of sea buckthorn oil in here. That's like their oil of choice with this brand. Um, but this is just, it. it's amazing. Um, it's one of those products that you'll kind of have forever because it's not something that you're supposed to use on your entire head of hair. You can, like it works on the rest of your hair. Um, but this is phenomenal and I love to use this, especially on weeks when I've been like working out hard or I've been doing hiking. This also like, because I like to hike, this also encourages me to check my scalp. Like we live lots of trees so I'm always like checking my hair for ticks and stuff like that if you're a hiker you know natural hair and being out in the woods and stuff like that can be rough um so this also encourages me to like it, it helps getting that check done anything that does end up in my hair or on my scalp I catch it like really quick when I'm using this product so um it's really useful for what it does but it also like kind of keeps me like making sure that like everything is healthy and I don't have anything trying to latch on to my head <laughs> but I love this it feels amazing it's so refreshing on the scalp if you struggle with like itchy scalp um this is a really great product to have in your collection a really good cheapie um this one is like a no-brainer for me I think I reviewed this a couple of years ago this is the Garnier Hydrating Treat Shampoo with Aloe Extract. This is like, just like straight up simple, easy. This is a really great clarifying shampoo. I think my brother used this a couple of weeks ago and he said he loved it, which means that I'm probably like going to be missing this bottle soon, but it's cool. I have tons of shampoo. Um, shampoo is one of those things I never stress about because it takes me forever to use up. Even the ones that I use frequently, it takes me forever to use them up. Um, this is a really simple clarifying shampoo. It smells amazing, it smells like candy. 
it leaves the hair feeling really like soft and nourished but like it cleanses like it really 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 cleans the hair um this is really nice you get a lot of it so um it's a really good bang for your buck as well this um i think all of these the garnier treats products are vegan yeah it says it has aloe juice it's 94 percent biodegradable uh vegan formula suitable for color treated hair recyclable bottle no parabens and no artificial colors um they talk a lot about um what it means to be like naturally derived and stuff like that and i've said before like i think that's some of the most honest marketing that i've seen you know marketing is marketing but i think it makes more sense to talk about it from that angle than just claiming that a product is just 100 percent natural um these shampoos conditioners and deep conditioners are bomb the only conditioner that i've tried from them that i don't like was the watermelon one it just it it don't get that. <laughs> it smells amazing. Don't get the rinse out conditioner. The deep conditioner is bomb, but the, the rinse out conditioner was highly questionable. Um, but aside from that, all the other like shampoos and conditioners I've tried from them have been bomb. Um, and I believe all of, if I remember correctly, I think all of the treat conditioners, I mean the treat shampoos are all like more on the clarifying side. They don't have any of that like pearlescent moisturizing formula going on but this is really really nice one of my favorite go-to's for just a quick clarifying session especially if I have something that I'm having a really hard time getting out it does the trick I feel like this is definitely one that everyone should at least try once in their life um this is the Eden Body Works natural shampoo peppermint and tea tree this is supposed to cleanse and clarify this is my last of the old packaging i'm pretty sure they changed their pack their packaging from this um this is what i would suggest to anyone that wants something like trader joe's tea tree tingle but doesn't want all the, the stripping because that one's gonna strip your hair now this is truly clarifying and if you have a bunch of gunk or crazy stuff in your hair it's gonna get this out it's one of the most used that i have here um, and that's because it is really, really strong and it gets the motor oil out of my brother's hair. <laughs> he, like, he comes home literally black sometimes, y'all. And I don't mean, like, black people. I mean, like, like, black. <laughs> um, so he usually needs something really, really strong and this does get out the motor oil in his hair. But I don't find this to be overly stripping. I don't find this to make my hair feel like, hey, if you overuse it, it's gonna feel crazy but um this is really really nice um let's see yeah this has that sodium c1416 olefin sulfonate and i've mentioned to you guys several times that that is i mean it can be about as strong as a sulfate um but this does have have hydrolyzed wheat protein in here too there's some tea tree in here it has that telltale like peppermint tea tree smell so it's really nice it doesn't take a lot to work up a good lather, get everything nice and clean and refreshed. Rinses easily, it doesn't stick along too, around too long. That's one other thing I hate about Tea Tree Tingle. When you get that baby lathered up, you have to stand under the water for like a thousand years to get it all to rinse out of your head. <laughs> um, and this one is not like that. This is like no brainer. I love this. Um, I'm going to have to, I don't know if I have any more backups of this, so I'm probably going to have to repurchase this. Eden Body Works is one of those brands I stopped shopping from because I had so many backups that it was ridiculous. Like I had to use it, not buy more. Um, and it's easy to buy a lot of their products because they're inexpensive and they're always having sales. But this is like a no brainer. This is one I suggest to have in like everybody's collection because it's a really good go to. You never know when you like come across like a product or like you mix two products together and they go on your hair fine, but they like just won't come out like every now and then that happens. And this is great to have around, but it's also great just to use that at the end of the month just to get everything off and reset and refresh. And it makes your scalp feel amazing. So um Eden Body Works peppermint tea tree shampoo is absolutely one really introduced two of my now like favorite 
um, clarifying options for my natural hair. Um, the first one is the Nature's Little Secret Lemon and Rosemary Clarifying Shampoo, y'all. This shampoo right here is love. Jesus lives in this shampoo. Um, I think when it initially released, I hadn't tried it. And I was watching my girl Mo from All Things Moel. When she rinses out of her hair, her curls look so juicy and like she hadn't even done anything yet. And I was just like, yeah, I need that. Um, and Charnay ended up sending it to me and I absolutely love it. I, I've used this a lot and it doesn't look like it because you don't need a lot. Um, this smells really, really nice. It has like a really nice light scent. Like it smells like lemon ginger, like lemon ginger tea, but it's not like super duper strong. It's not overwhelming or anything. It has a really nice preci precision applicator. And of course, great ingredients. Um, you have lemon and rosemary in there. This is cocoa betaine and sodium C14 olefin sulfonate based. So it is like, it cleans. Um, but this also has some aloe leaf juice in here. There's just something about this that like, even though like it cleans, like it cleans, it makes your curls look so juicy and soft. And I don't know what it is. Like this makes my hair feel so good every time I use it. Bomb. Like one of the best releases of 2021. Like absolutely phenomenal. Like I, y'all, I just, just try it. It's amazing. I love it. I've been raving about it for like a year and I can't stop raving about it because it's that good. Um, of course, I do have a code with Nature's Little Secret so you can save on her products. Um, it's third eye 15. I will leave it on the screen here and I will also always have my codes listed in the description box for you guys. So if you're ever like curious or looking like they're always going to be there listed. Um, so yeah, I love this. It's bomb. It's probably going to take me like a millennia to get through this because you, you don't need a lot. You need the faintest bit. This is a beautiful, stunning, phenomenal shampoo. Charnay did that. She and did that. Just like Charnay did that, um, Julian did that when she released this Blue Tansy line. Um, and the Blue Tansy Clarifying Shampoo, it's... This one and Nature's Little Secret are neck and neck. I keep trying to pick a favorite and I can't. Like, I love them both equally. This one is more of a gel texture. The Nature's Little Secret one is more of like that liquidy consistency. But this one is like a true gel texture. I have a video up on this collection so you guys can see them in action. But this shampoo... Again, you only need a little bit. It doesn't take a lot to get the job done. Um, this is another one that is sodium C14 olefin sulfonate and cocoa betaine based. So you're getting a really, really good cleanse. It has a really good blend of cleansers. Um, but this does have that blue tansy flower. There's also some slippery elm in here. So it works through the hair beautifully. Um, and there is some quinoa in here as well. The ingredients in this are top notch. This is 100% worth every penny. All the Agile products are. My hair loves them. They make my hair feel bomb. But this right here, look, I love a good cleanser. And I know a lot of us have said before, like the only thing we needed from Adjua was um, something that was clarifying. And this is clarifying. It is clarifying, but it is still gentle on the hair. It's not gonna make your hair feel like, hey, you're not gonna be out here looking like a struggling little tumbleweed, I promise. <laughs> um, it just has all the aspects of a perfect shampoo. It's amazing um, and I know it's like one of her top sellers. Like she can't keep this in stock. It is that good for a reason. Um, now that summertime has come back around, I'm definitely going to be using it more because it's one of my faves. And the only one that will get more use than that one is, this is still my ultimate one. This is um, a bottle that they recently sent to me but I have the last little bit of my other one in the shower and that is the Carol's Daughter Wash Day Delight. This one is the rose water version, but I have like a little bit left of my aloe one and then I think I think they sent me another aloe one. So like I'm stocked on Wash Day Delight and um, it's a good thing because I love it. It's one of my favorite shampoos like ever. Um, this is a beautiful micellar clarifying formula. Um, you can see like it's literal like water 
Um, I remember when this came out, I was like just so intrigued by the formulation and it's amazing. This actually uses cocoa glucoside um, as its top uh, cleansing agent, but this is just so nice. It, it, when it goes on, it doesn't feel like anything, but it foams up so well and it cleans the hair so well. And even though it's like a water to foam, I don't find myself feeling like my hair is getting knotted and tangled from the formula. The the actual like suds still go through my hair easily. Um, it's, I don't know, like, do you guys remember my Josie Curls review? That shampoo, like it felt like there was nothing in my hair. Like it felt like I was literally just like scraping my strands together. This formula doesn't feel like that. Um, it gets my hair super duper clean and usually Wash Day Delight is my go-to. It's one of the few hair products that I keep in my shower. Most hair products I don't like to keep in my shower just cause they're, they're, too, they're too fresh for that. I don't want them getting nasty, but Wash Day Delight is one that I keep in my shower. Like I said, I have the aloe one in there right now. But this is amazing. Like, I feel like this is definitely one of those, like, no-brainer if I'm in the drugstore um, and I'm somewhere or wherever and I don't have a good clarifying shampoo, I'm just going to go to Target or, like, wherever and get this. Um, it's huge. It's 16.9 fluid ounces. And I don't think I paid more than $10 for this. Um, so... It's amazing. They also have a really good conditioner in this collection too. It's like a gel to cream conditioner. It's really, really nice. Um, I have that sitting around somewhere in a drawer or a cabinet somewhere. <laughs> um, but the Wash Day, like the Wash Day Delight collection in general is like really, really nice. Um, these are really great products. If you need a really, really good clarifier, just on the spot, you're just looking for something different. I highly suggest this is, Wash Day Delight just feels like a spa-like experience. Like it feels like you're spending the day at the spa. Like some really, really nice lady is just like washing your scalp to perfection. That's how this feels. Um, I do use a moisturizing shampoo after this because it is very, very clarifying. Um, but it still is like nourishing to the hair and it doesn't make my hair feel crazy or like I did anything bad to it. So I absolutely love Wash Day Delight. Still like my top pick for a clarifying shampoo. It's just one of the best out there. All right, and that is it. Hopefully I didn't take too long to get through that. It was only 10 in this one. But yeah, I y'all know I love shampoo. I live for shampoo. Uh, all different types of shampoos. I love to have different strengths of cleansers in my collection. Um, and I don't mind doing a moisturizing shampoos video. Do y'all want that? I don't know, you let me know. I know people don't love shampoo the way I love shampoo. So y'all let me know. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Wash your hair, sis. Keep that thing healthy. Um, I don't know if the deep conditioning video was going up before this one, but I have a deep conditioner video coming too for balanced and protein focused deep conditioners for the summertime. So be on the lookout for that if it's not up already. And if it is, I will have it linked in the description box below. I love you guys so much. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.